we are so lucky to have this wonderful, powerful mother-daughter duo with us here. LaShans and Celia, hello. It is so nice to have you here. Hi, thank you for having us. Thank you, Sasha. Would you please, either one of you to start, tell us a story about an arts teacher or any teacher that had a significant impact on your life and your career. I had an incredible, incredible drama teacher in middle and high school. His name was Mr. Teacher. Um, funnily enough, <laughs> academics was never really my strong suit. So arts was where I really, really felt capable. And he was someone who really just inspired me to continue to believe in myself and believe in my art and really just, he fostered a really, really safe space and a really awesome community for me. He was just someone who really, really made a, a space for me to believe in myself and continue to pursue what I'm now doing professionally. So really without him, I would not be doing what I'm doing. Incredible. What about you, LaShans? I had a great um, and an ex an excellent English teacher. I grew up in the South. So well, my mother and father, when they separated, we moved with my mom up to the North, up to Connecticut. I was 12 years old and I had a very thick Southern Floridian accent. But she was the person who introduced me to Shakespeare. And she introduced me to iambic pentameter. She introduced me to articulating my words. And so much so that I ended up becoming sort of the leader in the class with understanding how to, with, with, with diction and speaking words properly. And, and I, she actually got rid of my accent in what would be a matter of months. <laughs> it was tough being a Southern kid coming up to the North and being teased about my accent, being teased about the way that I speak. But the arts teachers that I had and my, and my chorus teacher that I had, Mr. Langello, they were all just very encouraging and supportive of, of me. I really appreciated them. How has art affected the way you interact and engage with the world around you? I mean, it's been, 2020 has been a year. <laughs> so how do you as artists take your, your artistic uh, you know, person and how does it affect the way that you interact with the world? My relationship with art has given me a lot more confidence when approaching the world outside of it. And it was a level of confidence that I don't think was expected for me to have just as a black woman in America. There isn't a lot of room for our confidence to be accepted. That is something, especially right now, me speaking truthfully and me speaking on my beliefs and me speaking with conviction is something that I don't think I would be able to do properly if I didn't have the arts education that I had. It's very valuable to have the arts in, in our schools, particularly with the internet and social media, eating at with how they think of themselves. And I think the arts can pull them away from that and remind them that they are individual and special within themselves and, and, and get behind themselves and their own creativity and support that as opposed to comparing themselves to those that they see in their phones. Arthur Miller's is theater education is a right, not a privilege. Um, and when only when people of privilege are the only ones who have access to it, it really limits whose stories can be told and how. This would be a good time for me to talk about Black Theatre United that was founded by me and Audrey McDonald and a few of our other, we call them fancy friends. We feel that representation for Black people in, in theatre behind the stage, in the pits, in the unions, the theatre owners, the theatre developers needs to diversify. We've created a mentorship program, we've created an internship program. We're working with different HBCUs to sort of funnel children into uh, the theater and we're we're asking the theater community um, to listen to how we can be helpful in educating them on the value of diversifying these these uh, arenas for for artists for black artists that's such a great bridge I think between the work we're talking about here the education in the schools and then really seeing industry professionals, making space for those students to realize what they're learning about in school once they graduate and you know having access to this education and then having access to a career in the arts as we continue to represent more people we can continue to bring in more people into this conversation and continue to build a safer theater community but inherently a safer planet and a safer country and a safer just space for people of all identities to see themselves in successful places, to see themselves in worthy spaces. I think that is a wonderful note to end on. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us.